Hey guys, Doc with the Gold Hog, and today I'm going to be showing you our new Talon mat. And our Talon mat is our only release for matting for 2015 season. We're releasing it early, it's available now on the website. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to jump around and show you a few different things. I'm going to show you uh, some indoor footage, some lab testing footage, some flow rate testing. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to run it. Um, I'm going to run it in our dredges, which really, some of our dredges are too powerful for this in some parts of it, which is what I want to see. I want to see a maximum flow rate, very, very high turbulent water versus a lot smoother water. So the new Talon mat. Pretty simple. What we wanted to do is we wanted to create a real aggressive mat, but normally when you think aggressive you think tall like tall riffles but the talon mat really is the opposite instead of going up we actually went down and so the mat is very deep has large grooves but there's a certain purpose for this mat the purpose for this mat really is is to offer um, an imbalanced sort of mat and when I say imbalanced, you'll understand what, as we go on what I mean because it has one groove, it has three sections of grooves that are the same. But as part of that, the first groove creates a vortex and it holds a lot of fine sand, black sand, and it's more of a soft settling zone. And then there's two other grooves that have a real high exchange rate. But one of the things you have to understand, if you want to understand this mat, is you have to understand incremental processing. And there's a video on our website about incremental processing. And incremental processing is as material feeds into a sluice, certain parts of that sluice actually get filled up very quickly. So if I dump a whole bunch of dirt into a high banker, let's say, all that dirt goes in, the slurry has a very high sediment rate, it goes down, it fills up the first the first portion of that sluice let's say the first one quarter of that sluice as that fills up and start tries to exchange out material where does the rest of the slurry go or rest of the material it moves down and it keeps moving down and what we wanted is we wanted a mat that was imbalanced that had normal processing but also had some real high exchange centers in other words it, it oh, actually over exchange so all through this mat, that's what you're going to see, and that's the purpose of this talon mat, is to create an imbalanced sort of section that you can combine with other mats in our system, other mats that we have, to sort of offer something a little bit different. So it's a great little mat to put into high bankers, into dredges, and into just about everything. Uh, it likes a pretty moderate flow, and we're starting to use some of these flow meters now, and you'll see some of these flow meters. So we're starting to give things flow meter ratings. So anyways, uh, Without further ado, I'll take you out and start to show you some of this footage. Again, this mat is only, I was dumping most of the dirt from here to here, and it's only about, I've only got about 28 inches of matting surface running real fast through here, and I'm running solid black concentrates. 
so a little challenging. But you can see the next down draft. I see some little bit of gold out of there. Then we go up to the new talon. And you can see what I'm talking about, about those three different levels. Pretty open. And then behind this main riffle is full. Same thing. This riffle is fairly full. This one is open and open. You can see gold down there. Good example here. This is a really good example right here. You can see how open that one riffle is. And there's gold, even fine, super fine gold down in there. The middle riffle, and then the riffle that gets a little bit heavy. It's a real quiet zone in here. Look at that pre ramp right before the main riffle. But you can see all the gold up in these mats. There's a ton of gold in here. It's just, but it's buried under that black sand. Like right here. Look at that. That's just packed. Same thing. You can see the first pre ramp is just loaded. So I'm sure that this area is going to be loaded too. But you can see I have a. I mean, you know, the sun's coming out. You can't. But I have a ton of gold sitting up in here. And I have less and less and less and less as I go on because of incremental processing. I'm always going to have gold further down here. Most of my gold will be up here, but I am going to have gold all the way down. Incremental processing. You know, the bus seats are full up here. Let's keep moving down and keep moving down until we find a seat that's open. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see some of this, but I'm going to try. You can see that big flake. That's a big flick of gold sitting right there. There's some big chunkers right up here, and this is the top of the mat up here. And you can see that pre-ramp and the gold in here, and I'm going to try and get some of this as I wash this down for you. It's going to be kind of hard. But you can see as I start to wash it down, the gold appears. And it's deep down in there. Way deep down inside that mat. Look right here. Look right here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. But you can see the amount of gold I've got up in these this first mat up here. And I'm gonna have less and less and less as I go down. But again, don't forget, this is only about 28 inches of matting really fast water and I'm running a gallon of solid black concentrates through here just about. So I should expect to see some incremental processing all the way down. Again this is just pretty here. I wanted you to see that behind this riffle right here there's a lot of gold sitting deep 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 inside of it you can see right there as I wash it down you can see the gold deep down inside of it pretty cool hey guys it's Doc and we're out here we're gonna put some of this uh, new talon matting into one of our dredges out here and do sort of a test run, flow rate run. So I wanted to show you the mat before we actually went down to the creek and put it in the dredge. Alright, so lighting wise, I hope you can see this. But you can see the mat here. This is the new talon mat. And <clears throat> when you have this riffle, this is the one first riffle on the mat. And that holds a lot of material. It's a real quiet zone, so it holds a lot of black sand, a lot of material. These two grooves right here are very active, so it's a good pausing point for gold. This gold really pauses, but it stays open. It's very violent here, which is nice. And, and you'll see that on some of that video, it wants to come back into this groove. So it sits here and then wants to come back. So it doesn't just sit here and then go this way. It wants to come back, so it slows down. But what I'm doing is I'm taking a razor, I'm taking a river hog, and I've got the river hog cut way down. You can see how low I have that. 
it's almost even with the ramp here into a throw situation so there's not going to be a whole lot of turbulence in this mat um, and then so I've got like one river hog cut and then I've got one two three or one two talons same thing uh, I've got a river hog cut here and then I've got talon talon river hog and we sort of repeat that pattern all the way up the mat so that's what I wanted to do this is on our basic flow testing this is what we've seen what we've determined to be good in most dredges this way we're only treating the bed load we're not creating a lot of turbulence we've got big open grooves for big gold plus a lot of areas for fine gold too so we'll get that in and get it running hey guys I'm going to talk to you over here for a sec real quick because when I go back over there it's going to be loud but I want you to watch this flow. Up at the top of our dredge, the water is going to be really hot, really fast. And then it gets a little bit slower and a little bit slower. But you can actually see the lines, the, the, main, the three main slower ripples in this new mat. You can actually see they stay a little bit white. And the other two behind that actually clear out really fast. So you'll be able to see it in this dredge while it's running. whipper of the day. Let me tell you what we're doing real quick. We're on real crappy ground, of course, now that we're out here to test. And, um, but, so we're not really able to see a lot of gold in the mats because there's a bunch of sand and everything. So what we're doing is we're catching 100% of the tailings in a big tub and then panning it down. What a pain. So what I'm doing is we're taking this tub and we're catching 100% of our tailings right over here. We're putting it under there, leave it there for three minutes, bring it back over here, use the hog pan, use a regular pan, test, 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 test. And I mean, I'm barely finding anything of my tailings. So that's a good sign, but I know I'm not on good ground, so. All right, so here's my problem right now is, is we're on crappy ground. We did an hour run and after an hour run I should see some okay gold and I'm just not seeing and I told uh, Brandon was out here and I told him I said I don't see any gold in my tailings that scares me when I don't see gold in my tailings uh, I get really worried because I should have one again one to four percent of my gold should go out the back end if I'm running a 96 to 99 percent recovery rate so I should see some gold in my tailings I'm seeing no gold so we shut down, we cleared out, we saw a little bit of gold in the mat. All right, so I finally have, now we're, we're not even near the top of the mat yet. We're still way down here. We're getting, getting close though. Now this is the big riffle here and you can see I've got little tiny stuff. I mean, tiny, tiny gold in here. The one at the end of my fingertip is about a 100 or 150 then I've got maybe some 50s up there I've got gold over here I mean this is a crappy area we're in so it's kind of and I know that looks like a big piece but it's not it's still close to a 50 there's a little 100 so this line probably has about 30 pieces of gold just in that one line then you come up here and this is one of those high energy ones and you can see inside that high energy one that there's some gold inside there too <coughs> I don't know if you can see this or not right there 
And then all around that, there's <laughs> there's so much little baby, baby, baby fine gold in there. And, and we're moving up a little bit, so the gold is getting more. But you can see it all in here. Tiny stuff, too. Alright, trying to get the camera to focus here, so you can see it. So I'm starting to move up the mat some, and you can start to see this is that main riffle. And you can see, so we're in here, I'm starting to get kind of, some of the bigger pieces are in here now. And this really where the mat kind of started to look almost blown out, so it's nice to see. Hold that up. So it's kind of nice to see their gold in there. Hey guys, so I just wanted to bring you along on some of this testing footage. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to show you some of that underwater footage, show you in the dredge. The Talon mat's a real good mat to work into any system, as long as you have at least moderate flow all the way up to a little bit higher flow. Real good mat, real aggressive without creating a whole bunch of turbulence. Thanks for coming along. Doc at the Gold Hog.